designers. They turn ideas into designs. And this is their studio. Nice, isn't it? It's an urban live workspace, apparently. The client wants a design to promote his organic milk company. The designers have some big ideas, and the client has no idea. Luckily, a good brief will define the scope of the project. Lots of designers start by sketching their initial ideas on paper. Your basic graphite pencil comes in grades varying from 2H to 9B. H pencils are harder and used for fine lines. Click to start designing. pencils are softer and ideal for shading. Click to use this one. Coloured pencils are an easy way to add colour. Have a go with this one. Some are even water soluble so you can blend them to create different tones. Felt tip pens are used for adding areas of bold, flat colour. Click to try one. They can be water or spirit based. Water based ones can give streaky looking results. Spirit based are better, but you'll need to use bleed proof paper. Freehand drawing is one thing, but if you need to design something a bit more technical, drawing tools can help. Get started on the packaging design using these tools. Parallel motion bars are usually attached to drawing boards. They are used to draw parallel lines or support other drawing tools. Click to set up your workspace. The 3060 set square is used to draw isometric shapes, like packaging. Click to start drawing the carton. Compasses is used for drawing circles and arcs. Click to add the finishing touches. Nice job! These days a lot of designers use computers. Not surprising given the sort of things you can do with them. You can use a scanner to import your original artwork so you can edit on screen. Drag the paper into the scanner. Can start from scratch using a graphics package. There are different types of graphics applications. Computer aided design or CAD is the digital equivalent of the drawing tools that you just saw. It's used for 2D or 3D technical drawings or designing plans. For creating designs like company logos you need drawing software. It has tools for creating, editing and modifying images which means that you can change the colours, apply filters to create effects, and use drawing tools to add finishing touches. Designs on computers are often made up of different layers, which helps organise the details and make things easier to edit. There are two types of image, bitmap and vector. Bitmap graphics are made from a grid of tiny dots called pixels. They are created and edited with software like Photoshop or GIMP, which by the way stands for Graphic Imaging and Manipulation Package. The amount of detail in an image depends on the number of pixels per square inch, or PSI. <coughs> Bitmaps are perfect for detailed images like photos. The downside is that they're not very scalable. When you enlarge them, they don't quite look so good. Use the slider to zoom in and see for yourself. Vector software, like Illustrator, makes images from individual coordinates joined by lines, called vector paths. When you enlarge a vector image, the software works out the new distance between coordinates, so you can change its size without altering the level of detail. So, the same vector image can be used at almost any scale, in all sorts of applications. With just their minds and a range of graphic media, the designers have come up with loads of amazing concepts. Yes, that's it. A milk carton for milk. 
Brilliant. Well, it might have taken them six months, but that is one happy client.